Here's a question that we get and that probably resonates a lot with people. As soon as they hear that their dog has cancer, some people think, oh my God, my dog, it's like an immediate death sentence. Um, what are your thoughts? I, I throw this out to either you, Dr. Ettinger, or you, Dr. Dressler. What are your thoughts in terms of, uh, you know, is, is getting a cancer diagnosis an immediate death sentence? Well, I'll jump in on this one. Okay. You know, it's interesting when you look at the grieving process. There's different forms of grief. And there's an interesting form of grief that happens before the event even is experienced. That means we're anticipating something bad coming up and we start to become sad about it. And this form of grief can be completely overwhelming and incapacitating. And many, many times when a guardian receives a dog cancer diagnosis from a veterinarian, they will start to experience anticipatory grief before anything bad has really happened or anything that's, that's really significant in terms of the well-being of the dog. So it's important to realize that in many, many cases, we're experiencing grief for something that hasn't even happened yet. And we have abundant time in many cases where we can do so much good, where we can take proactive steps, where we can improve our life quality, where we can get increases in lifespan and in increases in life quality of our special family member, and we, we don't yet have to be experiencing the grief that accompanies with the departure of a pet. So, uh, Dr. Dr. Ettinger, any thoughts about is the, is the, is the clock ticking? And, and how much time does, does one have to make decisions about treatment? Well, when people call our hospital and are trying to make an appointment with an oncologist, we really tell them that for most cases, a week or two is you know plenty of time for them to get in. They don't need to rush in the next day. There are a few exceptions to the rule where we really encourage the owner to come in the following day or the next day after. And I think if your dog is diagnosed with lymphoma or leukemia, those are really important ones to go and see an oncologist because we know that those are rapidly moving cancers and that starting treatment as soon as possible is really going to end up benefiting fitting their pet. But for the majority of all the other cancers, again, excluding lymphoma and leukemia, I think, you know, within a week or two is really the right time to make sure you get in and see an oncologist and make some treatment decisions. But I, again, for non-lymphoma, non-leukemia dogs, I always tell owners, you have a couple of days or two to go home and think about the information and make a decision. And it's probably not going to impact the outcome of their pet, meaning, you know, you want to make a good level-headed decision and not feel rushed into that decision for their dog. Dr. Dressler, any, any follow-up? Yeah, I think that it's that, that what Dr. Ettinger uh, has said is good wisdom. Um, and uh, we also, you know, of course, need to, to pay attention to each of the different uh, aspects of, of dog cancer treatment. But um, getting the information as soon as feasible is sound wisdom. Coming up with a treatment plan as soon as feasible is sound wisdom. But we need to be any feelings of panic or, or overwhelm. They're very, very understandable. But keep in the back of your mind that only very, very few cases of dog cancer is an immediate death sentence. The vast majority, we have a little bit of time. So allow yourself as a guardian and as an advocate uh, for your dog to take a little bit of time to, to experience what you're going through, to gather your data, and to come up with a treatment plan that really, really makes sense. And, and during that time, and obviously during the analysis, that's a, that's a good time to, to um, bone up on all the information in your book, both of your books, The Dog Cancer Survival Guide. Thank you so much, Dr. Dressler, Dr. Ettinger in New York, Dr. Dressler in Hawaii. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Thanks.